Hey y'all, I am in Franklin, Tennessee, Williamson County, here at Williamson Memorial Gardens, and I am going to look for the graves of Troy Gentry and Skeeter Davis. All right, so y'all just come along. Here we go. All right, so this is the Garden of Faith plot here at Williamson Memorial Gardens. And we're going to walk around and try to find Troy Lee Gentry's grave. All right, so I've been looking for quite a while now in the Garden of Faith. Felt like I've looked at every single headstone in this plot. And finally, come across it. That's the bench down at the bottom of the grave, at the feet. There's a shell with his name T. Roy. And this is the final resting place of Troy Lee Gentry. One half of Montgomery Gentry. He died on September 8th, 2017 in New Jersey. Montgomery Gentry was on tour. And he decided to take one of those scenic helicopter tours. And unfortunately, not long after takeoff, the helicopter crashed. And him and the pilot both uh, passed away and Troy was 50 years old now they say that the reason for the crash was pilot error I, I don't know but either way the helicopter went down and him and the pilot both died but there he is Troy Lee Gentry. Now, he was married. Now, his wife has not passed. They had three kids. And their names are on the back of the bench here. Kaylee, Alexandra, and Taylor Payton. Now, Montgomery Gentry, they were members of the Grand Ole Opry. And I believe that they had put out 11 albums while he was with uh, the group, Montgomery Gentry. All right. All right, so now I'm at the Garden of Prayer plot. I'm gonna drive around and look for Skeeter Davis. Look for her final resting spot. So here we go. All right, so found Skeeter Davis. She's right behind the chapel pretty much in the plot uh, yep in the plot known as the garden of prayer so this is her bench and she is actually three down from the bench and this says within her spirit so rest my heart and it's from someone from the Republic of Korea. But this is her grave right here. Member of the Grand Ole Opry.
She was 72 when she passed. Now she was born Frances Pinnock. And she had a 43 year music career. Toured all over the world, big venues all over the world. Toured with Elvis Presley and the Rolling Stones. And of course her probably biggest hit, as you see it right there, The End of the World. There she is, Skeeter Davis. She was 72 years old when she passed away. So I am here at Mount Hope Cemetery in Franklin, Tennessee. Today is October 23rd, 2023. And I am looking for the graves of Sarah Ophelia Colley Cannon, also known as Minnie Pearl, and Felton Jarvis. And as I was looking for Minnie Pearl, just so happened to come across Mr. Jarvis. Now, Charles Felton Jarvis was a record producer that worked for RCA. He worked with Gladys Knight, Carl Perkins, and the one that he's probably most famous for is working with Elvis Presley. He was Elvis's record producer from 1966 to 1977. Now, Mr. Charles died of kidney disease and he actually had the disease while Elvis was living, and they were such close friends that when Elvis heard about this, he actually paid for all of his dialysis, and he paid for his kidney transplant. But unfortunately, he died in 1981, and that is his wife beside him. And as you can see, he's also representing the TCB logo, which is Elvis's logo. But this is the grave of Charles Felton Davis, who was the producer for many, many artists here in Nashville that worked for RCA. Walking and looking, looking for Minnie Pearl. Now, it's not going to say Minnie Pearl on the headstone, but it's going to say Sarah Cannon. And looks like I am about to come up on it right here. There it is, Cannon. Sarah Ophelia Collie Cannon. Now, Minnie Pearl was born in Centerville, Tennessee, Hickman County. And she was a comedian. And she toured with Roy Acuff for a long time. And she was a member of the Grand Ole Opry. And she would come out and tell jokes and things of that such. And Miss Minnie Pearl, she died of cancer. And there is a 
Cancer Center that is named after her, the Sarah Cannon Cancer Center in Nashville. But that is the grave of Minnie Pearl. Her birthday is actually in two days. October 25th, today is the 23rd. All right, gonna head on out.